Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we will learn about variables in Groovy and this is going to be very easy and very interesting. I will go very basic step by step and we will learn how to define variables in Groovy, how to name variables and we will also look at multiple assignments and some other features. So let's get started and I will open my Eclipse and this is the project that we created in our last session and here in the last session we created this my first groovy script here and now I am going to create a new class now also uh, in the last session if you have seen there was an error in this project and here you could see a red cross mark now for that what you can do is in case you are using Eclipse if you go to this quick access and just type problem here so it will open this problems suggestion uh, here so if you go to this you can see whatever problems are there like errors or warnings will be displayed here and here when I looked at the error as of now it is not there it uh, told me about some version of Groovy so for that I right clicked on the project and went to properties and here you can see you have the uh, Java compiler in case you want to change the Java compiler for example I can just use whatever Java compiler I want or you can go to a uh, groovy compiler here and here you can change the groovy compiler so here was the issue it was using 2.6 and it was not compatible so I just change it to 2.5 from here and then apply and save and the error was gone so this is just a tip in case you are facing any issues you can just go to your problems and look at the uh, issue or error here and it will also give you may give you some suggestions and then you can troubleshoot it so now I am going to again my com.test.demo package right click new and I will go to other and I will search for groovy and groovy type next and this is going to be a class and I will name this as variables and next and I will just say finish so this is the class variables and as we have seen earlier even if I do not use a class or a function I can still work with groovy script so I'm just going to go very basic here and in variables you can define for example I can say def name equals and the value so I have given I have created a variable called name and I have given a value called Raghav which is a string to this variable and to define variables we use the keyword def and I can now just print this out I will say print ln name and I will do right click and say run as groovy script and you can see it is printing out the variable here I can also use the data types for example I can say this is a string and I will run this again and this will work fine too and uh, even if you do not give any declaration or data type here and if you try to run this now we can see it is still running and giving us an output but it might uh, you might face some issues later on so it is always uh, better to either say def or give a data type like string or integer or whatever you want to provide to this variable so this is how you uh, define variables and also if I say here I will say println and in the quotes single quotes I will say name is and then I will say plus name and if I run this now you can see it is printing name is Rakhav so you can use plus and the variable name and it will append to whatever string you are printing and if you want to put this inside I can say dollar and curly brackets and the variable name and what's the difference between single quotes and double quotes in print so let me just show you if I now use double quotes and say name is dollar name so what will happen let me run this now and show you and you can see the output here so here you can see the first time 
when we are using single quotes it is taking everything literally so whatever you have put inside single quotes will be printed as it is it will not resolve this variable and refer the value but when we use double quotes in case you are using any variable with this syntax it will resolve it and refer the value and print the value here instead of the variable name so this is the difference we will discuss more about it and I believe we do not even need these curly brackets if I remove these curly brackets and run this again and you can see it is still working fine but by convention it is a good practice to use curly brackets whenever you are uh, referring to any variable so this was about defining variables and then to name variables uh, you can actually use letters and you can use digits or you can use underscore so which is this sign in your variable names so you can either say like you can use underscores in your variable names you can also use uh, digits and letters so this all will work fine and this is working fine and uh, also one thing that you should always remember is groovy is case sensitive like java so if you are using uh, uppercase then you have to use the uppercase always to refer that particular variable so that means if I say def x equals 10 and then I say def capital X equals 20 so these are two different variables I can also print this I can print x and print capital X and if I run this you can see it is printing 10 and 20 and because I did not use println so it is printing in the same line so println prints in and then moves to the next line so that is why it is good practice to use println and now I will again run this and show you so you can see 10 and 20 so that means small x smaller case x and uppercase x are two different variables so groovy is case sensitive and that's all about uh, naming variables and the other thing you can see here is if I say here name equals Raghav which is a string and then I say name equals 10 and then I am saying print name and if I run this now you can see it is printing 10 so that means you can change the type of the values you give to your variables and this is called dynamic typing so groovy is I will just write down here groovy is dynamically typed language so that means the type of the variables is resolved at runtime and this is one of the very important questions if you also search for it dynamic typing you can look at some of the definitions here and you can see what is dynamic typing so dynamic typing is all these variables are resolved at runtime the values and their types so even if you say name equals Raghav and then give some other data type to name it will still work fine which will not which is not the case in many languages like Java or C it will throw an error but in, in Groovy you can do that so this is how you can do dynamic typing and you can also do multiple assignments for example I can say def and in brackets I can say a b and c three variables and I can provide value to all three in square brackets I can say 10 or I'll just say 30 40 and 50 and then I will say here I'll print a print B and print C so if I run this now let us see the output you can see it is printing 30 40 and 50 and I can in fact give the types here I can say this is of type string I will say this B is of type 
int and c is of type let me say double and I'll run this again and you can see the output 30 40 and 50.0 and in case I do not give value for C in that case C will get a null value if I run this you can see C is getting a null value and in case I have the value here but I do not have the variable here for example I remove C here and of course I will remove from here in that case it will just be ignored the value 50 will just be ignored at runtime so you can see we are just getting this so this is all about variables so uh, we have learned about how to define variables how to name variables we have uh, looked at dynamic typing and then multiple assignments I hope this session was useful for you I will meet you in the next session of Groovy thank you for watching